And you would assume that if you are a model of the plus sized variety, your diet would need to be on point. And by on point, I mean, hey, let's consume all the fucking calories, shall we? But at least that's what I thought. I thought that these plus size models were just melting butter in the microwave and drinking it with their Milo. But I don't think that is the case. And that is what this video is all about. I'm about to spill the truth or spill the flabby gut of the fat fucking model industry. And I'll tell you what, it's a pretty sad truth. Now, plus size models mean something different to what they used to mean. If you were plus size in the 1990s, you had a little bit of extra chub. You weren't extremely skinny or fit, you were just a little bit chubby, right? Early 2000s, you might have had a little bit more chub. And now, a plus size model is an extremely obese, giant monster who belongs on an asteroid, or could be a fucking asteroid. The same could be said for the term curvy. And being so overweight that it directly affects the amount of years that you can live on this earth is no longer something that we avoid. In fact, it is promoted everywhere. Now this is an attack on those ladies that I just showed, but it is basically a case study, if you will, on the societal trends on places like TikTok or Instagram. This is something that people aspire to be. If they can't be fit, then I may as well be fat. And what this does, particularly to young people, is it changes their mindset. Their mindset goes from, I probably should be healthy, something they've been taught their entire lives, to, who gives a fuck, this is how I was born, I was born fat. And I'll say this, for the record, being big, and I'm not talking about a little extra chub, big is not good, it is not healthy, it is deadly, it's also unattractive as fuck, and you need to change. Not for me, don't change for me, I don't give a fuck. But if you wanna meet your grandkids, you're gonna need to change. And it's not easy to change, it's fucking hard, but it's doable. This excuse is nothing but weakness. This shit that you can't, it's just lies. <laughs> That right there is what millions of young women and young men are seeing on a daily basis. That video has 500,000 likes. Half a million people think that that's a positive message to spread. That's fucking ridiculous. We treat anorexia as an eating disorder. We treat heroin abuse as an addiction. We treat COVID-19 as a deadly illness, although all of those don't even come close to the deaths that are associated with obesity. And yet we champion obesity. So where does this all come from? Well, people like Tess Holiday for starters. And when people tell her that her lifestyle is not overly healthy, this is usually her response. I'm just curious like what you're worried about. Are you worried about the fact that I actually love myself? My fat bank account? It's my fat ass, huh? Well, the reason she's probably concerned about your perceived health is because, well, you don't really see many grossly overweight 80-year-olds. They're usually very much in the ground by then. Truth be told, your all-cause mortality goes through the roof. Well, probably if you're a fat fuck, through the floor, if you are overweight. It's not just Tess, though. There's Lizzo. In fact, there's tons and tons of them. And tons being the operative word. But here's a question. How do they get so big? Well, the answer is they eat a lot of fucking food. They eat more calories than they need. That's how they get that big. But does that mean that's how they eat every single day? No. And I've never thought about it like this, but it makes sense. Let's have a look at a TDEE, -E, a total daily energy expenditure. The amount of energy or calories your body needs to live on a daily basis. Let's have a look at mine for starters. We'll go to this website. There's lots of different websites and mine may fluctuate between the different websites, but I identify as a male, a 12 inch dick male. It's not true, but I identify as it. I'm 28 years old, go me. 105 kilos, uh, 203 centimeters, moderate exercise. I do a push pull legs training split with cardio in there as well. And the maintenance calories of mine to stay at my weight right now is 3,385. As I said, it might fluctuate on different websites. Now, if I want to lose weight, I'll eat less. If I want to gain weight, I'll eat more. This may be an overestimate, it may be, just fucking hear me out. So now that these ladies have put on that weight, they don't have to eat 
that much to stay it that way. Take Tess Holiday for example. Let's put her into the TDE. She's 36 years old. She's 179 pounds. A hang on, this is future butt smart here. How you bloody doing? I'm looking at this and I'm wondering to myself, 179 pounds? Surely that can't be correct. I'm looking at this edit and I'm going, my God, I'm a fucking idiot. It's 200. And 79 pounds. Big bad Tess, baby. She's a big girl. I think she's almost, no, she's definitely much heavier than I. She's half my height and she's almost, well, not twice my weight, but she's much bigger than me. Ladies, if you're that big, good grief. Grab yourself a gym membership and get sweating because you're expanding at the rate of the universe and one day, you gonna pop. She is five foot six inches tall and her maintenance calories is 2,367. Now, if you know anything about diet, that's not that much. Let's look at Lizzo, she's 33, 5'10", and she's 140 kilos or 308 pounds. Her maintenance calories to stay at that weight is only 2,600 calories a day. That's a little bit more, but still, it's not that much. The thing is, and perhaps this is the reason that they continue to promote body positivity and they continue to promote anti-fat phobia, all that shit, is because they cannot lose weight because if you have a bad relationship with food and you love snacking and all that type of shit, that is fucking easy to eat. I typed into Google 2,300 calories in a diet and they came back with cornflakes and toast for breakfast, protein and peanut butter with carrots, a chicken sandwich for dinner, and that's it. Like, so if someone is that big, they're gonna form bad habits and they're gonna snack all around that, so no wonder she keeps getting bigger. So even if Tess, is eating slightly over 2,300 calories a day, 2,500 let's say, which is so easy, she's gonna to continue to gain weight. To lose weight, she would need to be under 2,000 calories a day, which is definitely doable, but it's tough. She would need to stay under that amount for a long period of time. And as she got smaller, she'd probably have to eat less. So this is gonna be a hard one for her. Does she have the willpower to do so? Does Lizzo or does any of these people who promote a body positivity and fatness? I don't think they do because they have chosen the easy path in life. It's easier to just eat whatever you want and not train. So maybe this image that we have in our minds of super fat people fucking shoveling the calories every single day is not the reality. This is why I've gone on keto a lot during my life because it's easy, well easier, for someone who doesn't like counting calories to stay under or to stay in a deficit. One of the big reasons for gaining weight is not understanding calories. Look at this, you like peanut butter? He's 100 calories and he's 200 calories. Who's always going for the 200 calories? Me. It's fucking hard this shit, but you have to understand it. If you wanna lose weight, learn how to count calories, do it for a couple of months and then you won't have to do it anymore because you'll understand it. But if you don't do that, it's gonna be tough for you because you won't understand how, much, how many calories exist in the meals that you already consume. I wish you all the very best of luck. It's tough, man, but you can do it, all right? Ladies, men, you can do it. I believe in you. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go check out the merch drop. There's so many good, look at this. Look at that bastard. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. Toodle, au revoir, bye-bye.